you could uh, allow me a couple minutes to do a product review. I've been using this now for a couple uh, couple months. This is the uh, SanDisk uh, Clip Sport uh, Player Plus. It actually has a little clip on the back, and it has actually a really good uh, battery life. I'd uh, only used up about 30% uh, of this, and I was actually playing it when I was out at uh, my place uh, the other day using uh, Bluetooth. And this is a Bluetooth model. I actually recommend uh, for only $10 more getting the Bluetooth model. Now, at like retail stores, this one's uh, $55. It's a 16 gig. Uh, you can get a 32 gig version. I know you can get it, I think, for like uh, $15 or so less if you order it online. I've uh, spent many countless years, especially when I'm out in public or I go uh, grocery shopping or whatever, just walking. I had used all these many, many years, uh, the, and it is about half the size, and it was uh, made by Apple. It's the uh, little uh, Nano uh, MP3 music player. Uh, uh, Apple does not make that anymore. Now they have a radically expensive, I think the base model is $200, their MP3 player. Of course, you can put thousands of songs on this. I love to listen to classical music and uh, harp music specifically. It's very calming, especially when you could... I'm always in deep thought when I'm out walking and I can drown out the uh, chatter of, uh, of uh, the sheeple uh, that are around me. But uh, this is actually very inexpensive and extremely nice. It's actually the same price as the, uh, as the, uh, the Apple one. I still have two of those and it has a little clip on the back exactly like this. However, it's a metal clip. This one's a lot easier to clip on and actually opens up wider. It actually has a, a micro USB port on uh, the left side and on the right side uh, there's a headphone jack and right underneath the micro USB port there's up and down buttons uh, for, uh, uh, for sound control. It has a little low resolution screen display. I mean it's not meant for watching uh, little videos or anything like that. It also has a FM radio on it which I actually find to listen to uh, NPR at night, they play classical music most of the night, and uh, I, uh, I love actually having an FM. Yeah, maybe I'm just a little too old, old school, but I actually uh, find under certain circumstances having a radio. I don't know if you can see that right now because of the glare possibly on it, but I love having an FM radio on it. And that's something that the, the uh, little simple uh, Apple one uh, did not have. Actually, the Apple, uh, the fancier one, which I also still have two of those, has a little display on it. And uh, however, the batteries don't take a charge anymore. Apple hasn't made those in years. It did have an FM radio on it. Uh, but for 55 bucks, this is actually incredibly nice. I absolutely love, since I've been using it now for a couple months, I love how long the battery lasts. And also, too, I've accidentally dropped it a couple times. It's actually, the only thing that's in here is a little uh, board with uh, some RAM on it and a substantially large uh, lithium ion battery. But it's also too, uh, you know, rainproof to a certain degree. Of course, it could uh, seep in uh, through the micro USB port, but it has a cover over here. Um, but I actually also have this uh, hooked up. I have a, a Bluetooth uh, speaker. Uh, it's a DeWalt Bluetooth speaker. And also, too, I have it hooked up to my car, which uh, has uh, Bluetooth. And I'll actually play this uh, in my car. Although I also too have a USB a memory stick with a lot of songs on there. But actually this is like the best $55 purchase that I've had. I love listening to a lot of music. Everybody keeps asking me in live streams like what sort of music do you listen to? And the answer is everything except for country music and rap music. <laughs> don't, don't listen to either one of those. But everything else, unless it's like German death metal, I, I don't listen to that stuff either. But uh, like I said, uh, spent $10 more to get the Bluetooth uh, unit. I think it's like $10 more. Like I said, I know you can get it for like 44 bucks or something like that online at various places. I don't mind spending $10 more for it at a retail store because I have that gotta have it now syndrome. So, and it's available in black, red, and blue. Blue is my favorite color, I think, so I got it in blue. But it's a very simple device. It's also, too, just like a SD card when you plug it in. You know, it comes with three folders. You can create more folders. There's a music folder, and then there's a, uh, a uh, audio book, book folder. Uh, but I just stuck like all my classical in one folder, all my regular music in another. But you just do a drag and drop. There's no installation of any firmware or software. So... It's exactly like popping a uh, you know a SanDisk SD card into your 
computer when you actually, and it does come with a little micro USB cable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you don't need to uh, do anything fancy when you first buy it. Just plug it in, it's automatically recognized as a memory card. And then it has the folders already in there. You just open up the music folder or the audiobooks folder. And uh, like I'll go back, uh, the three ones that it has. You have a left, right, up, and down button. There's books, and then we go to folder. You have music, podcast folder, playlist folder, and uh, audiobooks uh, folder. But uh, you have folder and then Bluetooth for Bluetooth. Bluetooth setup was incredibly easy with multiple devices. It does have a stopwatch. Who the heck would ever use a stopwatch? It actually has a setting for system settings, music, uh, music options, and radio options. And you could go into uh, music options and you could turn off or on shuttle, uh, shuffle. I never use that. Some people use that. Um, yeah, it is a low resolution. I mean, for $55, $55, I mean, I've seen some people on Amazon complain about that. Who cares? Really? Who cares? You know, there's no camera on it. You know, it's not for viewing images. You don't need a high resolution image just to look at the name of the song that you're listening to. Um, one feature that is both good and bad is that you actually, there's a center button here for toggling it off and on. It only takes a couple seconds to uh, turn it off, but when you turn it on, I guess that's so you'd accidentally don't turn it on. You actually have to hold down the center button for nearly four seconds. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. Yeah, it's exactly four seconds, so. SanDisk. Um, very, very nice. It's uh, To me, it's an extremely worthwhile $55 purchase. But like I said, you can get them for 40 bucks. Uh, I do recommend getting it with Bluetooth. You may not want to. I, uh, I just clip mine on my shirt, just like where my microphone is, like it is right now. And I could drown out all the, uh, the rambling masses at the grocery store and wherever I walk. And I was using it out in the woods at my place, because I have a place in the woods. And I just had a Bluetooth. I was, I was blasting out the bubblegum goth music to, to, to the wild creatures of the forest <laughs> yesterday with my Bluetooth speaker. Yeah, that's, that's an admission I probably shouldn't have made. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm a big fan of SanDisk, by the way. So this is the SanDisk. Clip Sport Plus with Bluetooth capability and FM radio. I love it, and I've used it a lot, so I can make an actual intelligent, logical recommendation. I've used a lot of MP3 players, little miniature ones like this. This is easily my favorite. It could be a little less bulky, but I'd rather it be bulky and have a larger lithium-ion battery in there for longer life. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.